So you notice that these sewing junctions that I've been drawing up, there are certain things added to these summing junctions and then being output towards your dynamic system output. I'll show you now what we do, what principle we use and what formula or method we use to find it for the disturbance um, included now. So we, uh, we assume that our input is zero now. Okay, this is only because we're working for the disturbance. Okay, so since I, um, since we're working for our disturbance and neglecting our input, sorry, I did that the other way around. Since we're working with our disturbance and neglecting the input, we have to work through these summing junctions. All right. Firstly, what is our error signal? Error signal equals the product of so this is our error signal here the product of um, your let's just call them your elements summed into the junction so firstly what elements have been summed into this section this is a minus by the way what elements being summed here so we have a measurement transducer being summed and an output being summed. So therefore, you'll have minus H multiplied by W out. What is being added into your summing junction here? Your W in. So therefore, we get plus W in, or W set, we call it. Remember, H was 1. And your set was neglected, so it's zero. So therefore, your error signal ES just simply equals negative of your output. Why do we need your error signal? Well, I'll show you now. We then work for your output straight out. We just say W out. This is our main transfer function derivation now. You say W out equals whatever element has been uh, preceded, uh, or let's just say, the element before the actual output. So what element is before the output? The actual telescope transfer function. So we say, okay, that's simple as that, isn't it? No, you're wrong. Well, you haven't considered the entire variable, and you haven't considered all the variables of our system. So what am I talking about? These all these variables in our system must be considered, but how? How do we include them? Well, firstly, like I mentioned, everything in these two paths are added. Can you see how they're added? They are added. Added. And once they are added to this summing junction, they are then multiplied. They are then multiplied by whatever is in the forward path such that it equals the output. What did I say? Your disturbance is added. So your disturbance is multiplied to your telescope dynamics. And then your forward path is then also multiplied, but added to your uh, summing junction. And therefore, you get the form of this. Hence, this entire term equals, remember, ES equals your inverse of the, your output angular velocity. So therefore, I'm just going to quickly simplify this for you guys, quickly one step. Now, I've just skipped a few steps and I just used the simple mathematical expansion. So we expand these brackets. So you notice how the TD goes to the top and then you expand this with that term as well. And remember, the reason why there's a minus here and the reason why I've put emphasis on the WL is because ES, your error signal here, equals the inverse, sorry, equals the um, difference of your angular velocity output. Now, notice, angular velocity output equals this term, subtracts angular velocity output multiplied by this term here. Why is that important? Because we asked for, when you when you're including the disturbance transfer function, 
um, neglecting input, your actual uh, final, uh, what you actually want as your final transfer function um, input output is your, obviously your angular velocity output over your input disturbance. So therefore, this is what we finally want. How do we mathematically manipulate this term here in order to achieve this term there? A clean transfer function. I'm going to show you step by step now. This is just a mathematical, iffy, uh, boring bit for most people because it's just working through mindlessly on how to like simplify this term. You've actually already completed the question pretty much, but let's just simplify it down for to get the actual uh, fundamental out output over input equals the transfer function um, method. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and simplify this now. Your output equals that term above. Subtracts W out KP KM N over inertia polar axis of Earth's rotation plus the dampening coefficients. Okay, move this term to this side, the other side, and therefore you get W out plus W out multiplied by that entire term KP, KM, N over the denominator of your telescope dynamics. Oops, it's a dampening coefficient. And that also equals your disturbance telescoped denominator dynamics. KPP plus Q. Okay, now it's simple factorization. Taking out the W out. So therefore, let's continue this step over here. W out equal sorry, um, one plus KP KM N over I E B S plus Q. Just going to quickly run through these last few steps quickly. Move your disturbance down here, so you get one divided by T D. And, there, and then move this entire term to the other side, so you have a clean transfer function, fundamental transfer function, um, fundamental transfer function form. Okay, so I'm just going to complete these steps for you guys quickly. Finally, you end up with this. And to simplify this term down further, you've, as I said, you've completed the question once you just have the output over input. But let's just continue to simplify this down. Use simple factors, expand. Might not, and you end up finally with, and there we have completed the question. Now, moving on, your final question is asked. Uh, I sorry, one second, let me just show to you guys that we've actually completed the question. So, yeah, this is your disturbance transfer function closed loop it equals this term here with the disturbance included this time, and your transfer function for your closed loop block diagram. Um, excluding the disturbance and you'll get this as a result. Okay. Final question asks, determine the closed loop time constant. So this is simply finding the time constant of this term right here. So you pull out the characteristic equation of the closed loop transfer function. Sorry about the messy handwriting. Alright, so this is a characteristic equation of the disturbance transfer function closed loop. The form we are looking for is tau 1 over tau s plus a, sorry, that's wrong, it's just tau s plus a, a, so the form we are looking for is tau, the time constant, and rearrange for each term with without the s, so rearranging all these terms without the s is just simply negative q subtracts k, p, k, m, m, n over i, p, p, Yes. Once you do that from the um, characteristic equation, neglecting the s, you then f um, this then equals the negative one over tau. To fi and finally, this is our time constant. Once you simplify. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And I will continue with more advanced examples later on. Thank you.